Villainous by It's Underslash Kingston on AO3. Episode 33. Chapter 20. Closer. We're here. Ochako swatted at the hand that tapped her on the shoulder as she sat up from her reclined seat. That didn't feel like long. That's because you slept through the drive, Togo replied. It's... She gestured grandly to the towering building. The mall! Ochako rubbed the sleep from her eyes and looked around. They were in one of the many parking spaces out in the front of what might have been the most popular mall in Japan. Except no one was there. Isn't it closed today? Yeah, so we get to skip all the lines and hassle. Toga grinned at her before getting out the car. The hero rolled her eyes and got out too. They began the short walk to the building, but not without Ochako checking over her shoulder at least twice times before they made it in. Stop worrying so much. This kind of stuff isn't dangerous. Worst case scenario, we get BNA. And it's not that hard to get out of jail. Togo patted her on the shoulder. They stood in front of the side entrance, a small metal door for employees, with a lockpick in a minute. Togo had opened the dull gray door. Let's go. I've only been here once, while well, it was super packed, but I've never seen it empty. Ochako looked around in awe. An empty building was usually creepy, but with the three o'clock sun still high and beaming through the skylight, this one seemed like an abandoned wonderland. Oh, look at this! Toga had entered a store on the first floor, a clothing one, and held up a t-shirt. On it was the same design as a UA uniform, just a tad off center. You think I'd make a good hero? The blonde asked with a grin. You'd be great. Ochako gave a thumbs up. She heard Toga murmur something close to, Oh no, he's already having an effect on you. I do need some new clothes. I hardly had any to begin with. Ochako started looking around through the racks of shirt beside Toga. What about this one? Toga held up a solid black red shirt. It's a pretty color. Uh, no one would be able to tell if there was any blood on it. Is that your selling point? Yeah. Ochako chuckled as she pulled out a new shirt. I like this one. It was light pink and on the shorter side. In the middle was a cat face, though it seemed to be made out of a cookie, with half strawberry and half vanilla ice cream on the side. You'd look cute in that, Toga said, before pausing to correct herself. Not that you don't look cute all the time, but that's a nice shirt. Her cheeks were tinted pink, though Ochako's were darker. Thanks, she said softly. Do you want to stick around here, or she would see what else we could find? Toga asked after a few minutes of silence. Ochako had spent the time picking out different shirts and pants, even a few pairs of shoes, practically an armful of clothes. And I want to keep walking around, the hero said, looking around for something to use to carry her clothes. She noticed the baskets beside the door and dropped the clothes into it. It was a rectangular white basket with handles, small and light. Togo waited by the door for Ochako to finish organizing her basket before picking it up and heading over. Where do you want to go now? Toga asked as they finished searching the bottom floor. Ochako thought about it as they made their way to the escalator. Thought the fact that the mall wasn't open meant they had to walk up it. I wanted to get some stuff from any room. Maybe a table or a dresser or something. Did it have a closet? A closet with a built-in closet? Toga asked curiously. Why was it the designated closet room? Because it's the only room besides mine without a closet. But mine was empty when I moved in, so yours became the closet room. Toga elaborated as I made it to the top of the escalator. Guess I'll need a dresser then. Ochako said, looking for the furniture store. You know... You don't have to stay in that room if you don't want to. Toga followed her towards a store called Wood Works. What do you mean? Like, find a different place to stay? Ochako looked into the store, but found it was only a woodworking classroom, the kind of place you take lessons at. No, no! Toga seemed reluctant to finish her thought, but found the courage after a moment. 
I meant you could room with me if you want to. I would, and there's probably enough room for my stuff, but not a second permanent bed. I'll be sleeping on the air mattress or a cot the entire time. Ochako turned away from her woodworks and faced Toga. There's my bed, the blonde said quietly. Then she intended. Ochako couldn't hear her low tone and stepped closer. Huh? You could always sleep in my bed. Toga said louder this time. She felt her face heat up at the suggestion and smiled. Then where would you sleep? Oh. Ochako seemed to get it. Um. She started walking back towards the center to look around for something, though she wasn't sure for what. You don't gotta answer, Toga said, following her. Well, uh, I... Ochako shook her head lightly, to clear her less-than-decent thoughts. I'd like my own space. Okay, Toga smiled. But Ochako wasn't sure what to think. It seemed off, in a sense. Not fully natural, but not fake either, just... off. Oh, right there. Toga pointed behind the hero. Towards the store, the sign above it read, Finn's Fabulous Furniture. How'd I miss that? Ochako chuckled, and the pair began walking towards it. She wasn't sure how to feel exactly. Maybe she told twice that she just wanted to stay close to Toga, and he definitely made it seem that way, not quite platonic behavior. But to the extent of sharing a bed? That wasn't what Ochako was after. She wanted close friendship at max. She stole a glance at Toga, who hurriedly looked ahead at the closed display of knife covers. She brushed a loose strand of hair away from her eyes and spun the case around. Ochako watched with a smile as her bright yellow eyes lit up brighter when she saw something she liked. That smile that crept across her face in a fanged grin was the only thing she could make look adorable. They were friends, right? That meant they hung out, like right now at the mall. Ochako was friends with Sue and Mina and with Deku, and practically everyone else in their class. Mineta was a little creep, so he didn't count. She'd gone to the mall plenty of times with Mina and Sue, and she'd seen them get excited over things too. But she never felt the urge to walk over and grab their hand or just be close with them. She hadn't felt that way about Deku. Being around him always made her overly nervous or self-conscious, like she could have chosen a better outfit or changed her makeup. She never felt this strange calmness around anyone else. So what was it? Why did it exist? Was this feeling because of the date? Or was the date because of the feelings? She enjoyed the date. And that's exactly what it was. A romantic date. Toga seemed to notice the staring and turned to Ochako. You okay? You've been standing there watching me for a while. Oh, yeah. The hero was jostled out of her thoughts. I'm fine. What you thinking about? Togo returned to doing what she was doing, which seemed to be using the edge of a knife to pry open the display case. Oh, um... Okay, just tell her that you wanted to see what she was doing, or you were looking at the store. Just don't get yourself more confused by telling her what you were actually thinking about. You're not a good liar, Toga giggled. A loud crack sound signaled her entry into the display case. What do you mean? You look like you're trying to come up with a lie, but it's taking you a while. She grabbed a few items from the case. Ochako sighed. Yeah. You should probably get better at that. Lying comes in handy, especially if you're good at it. Toga put the strands down into her otherwise empty basket. Can I see which ones you got? Ochako asked as she walked over. Toga hummed an acknowledgement and held out the basket for the hero to see. The first of the three were solid black, with white specks dotting it, almost like tiny polka dots. A purple, pink, and blue swirl was patterned across the second one, reminding her of something she couldn't quite remember. Maybe a flag? The third was covered in spaced-out images of cats set in a light gray background. I know I'm distracting, but aren't we heading there? Toga smirked as she pointed towards Finn's fabulous furniture. Yeah, 
Yeah, which one? Both. Ochako said as she began walking towards the store. Damn it. What were with these little reactions and flirtatious comments on her part? She wasn't into toga like that. Ochako, let me hold your hand when I say this. Denial is a river in Egypt. You do think of toga like that. I'm sorry. You do think of toga like that. You do, okay? Bestie, bestie, I'm sorry, but bestie, you gotta open your eyes. Bestie, bestie, anyone can see. I know, I know what you are. You know, like, whatever. Uh, I'm sorry, you went on a romantic date. You, you concluded that it was a romantic date. You, bestie, I hate to break it to you, but you're gay. You're gay. End of story. I don't have much to say other than uh, you're gay. Uh, accept it. Uh, I know there's people out there who are like that. Uh, I mean, you know, good luck, babe, is a song. <laughs> but yeah. Anyways, as always, my rain drops. Make sure to eat, sleep, drink water, take your meds. Have a wonderful day or night. Uh, I forgot my outro. Uh, have a wonderful day or night. Uh, subscribe? No. Let's, let's do this again. Make sure to eat, sleep, drink water, take your meds. Have a wonderful day or night. Link to my Discord server and socials, there you go, is in the description. Subscribe to see more of my content, and thank you so much for watching.